I'm seeing this guy fell for a pig butchering scam. I have no idea what that is. So I want to look at this video. Today, I'm going to tell you about the latest pig butchering scam and how I actually fell for it. This all began when I was forwarded this text message that said, hello, we need someone to review Yelp restaurant reservations. Earn 400 to $700 per day with free training. Our task is simple. We just need to rate or like the restaurant. It can be completed without affecting your current job, and there are no restrictions on academic qualifications. If you want oh. to join, contact us on WhatsApp. No, this intrigued me. I could get paid to rate restaurants? What could be better? So I sent a screenshot of this text to the WhatsApp number that they gave me, and I soon got a response from this woman who said, hello, do you have time to learn about this job now? And I said yes. And then she goes on to say that the job is to upload data for the Yelp restaurant platform. She says I can work remotely without any restrictions. Wait, I thought I was going to eat at the restaurants and then rate the food. This doesn't sound nearly as fun. But she says basically we help restaurants that work with companies. I feel like that sounds fun, man. Like having a job where you just go eat for free. Now you, you go to somewhere to eat and you get paid and then you just rate how they do. And that's your job. That sounds like a great ass job, man. Where do Mind I apply? data. In short, we upload data and traffic on the workbench provided by the company as users. Free uh, food and money. I'm totally confused, but let's hear what it pays. Hmm. She says our gross income is based on base salary and commission. However, this is not a fixed ratio because it depends on the more you do, the more you earn. The commission is our main income. The basic salary depends on whether you can upload data optimization every day. If so, you will get the basic salary. For example, uploading data optimization for five consecutive days will get an additional 900 USDT in addition to the commission. I'm still confused, but apparently what there are, are sets of tasks what? that you have to complete each day in order to earn your salary. So I ask if she can tell me more about these tasks, and she says she's going to set me up with a training account where I can learn. So she directs me to yelp-us.com. Why does this have to be so complicated? What happened to the initial offer where you go and eat at a restaurant and you just rate them? Like, why does this have to be complicated? That's the thing with these scam things, are they trying to take you around there giving you an offer that is so it's hard to decline and then they take you around the loops they spin you around like a monkey they're just messing up with you so you don't even know what you're getting into at the end which sounds like an actual yelp they website do a but yeah when they I click, do i get this warning from guardio telling me that the site is malicious oh guardio is this great browser extension that i've oh, installed that looks out time. for websites or emails that might attempt to steal personal or payment information and it's recommending that I don't continue, but I need to see what this is really all about, and I proceed anyway. The homepage says we provide data optimization services, and it has a place for me to log in. And Yelp Girl gives me some login details, and it's all very confusing. But it seems that they're giving out all kinds of rewards for people who what are ready the? to work. She instructs me to start tasks by clicking this leaf button at the bottom, and then one-click booking. And when I do it, it looks like it's generating orders from these random fancy... Do you think anybody believes this looks like it's generating? Why would you generate things on a website like this? I'm like, this is it, clearly it like a, a GIF. Like this is clearly a video. Like what is going on? From these random fancy restaurants and I need to submit the order. Okay. Apparently I'm getting a commission each time I do this and I'm being instructed to do 30 of these in order to cash out. I ask Yelp girl, what exactly am I doing here? She says you can pre-order restaurant orders with just one click because the platform has an automatic conversion. Is this a robot? system and the real data will be automatically uploaded every time Is you that click chat on the order, basically responding? thereby improving the restaurant's ranking funny. and exposure rate, increasing the restaurant's transaction volume and oh real God. reviews. I don't get it. I feel like I'm talking to a computer. I signed up for this because I wanted to. I think you are. I think this is a chat GPT like auto response nonsense. Get some good food, but I guess I'll keep going <laughs> in order to finish my 30 tasks. But eventually around. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of those mobile games where you have daily tasks. That's what this looks like. Like it just seemed like you just have to click on this and that. Ask AT and I get this error saying account balance is insufficient. Please oh. contact online service to recharge. Okay. I mean, why is my account at zero? I thought I was earning commissions, but Yelp Girl explains that it's because I got a combined order, and apparently that's a good thing. She then goes on to explain what this means and how we can resolve these negative numbers, and I just can't understand what? anything that she's saying. So I figure, let's have another <laughs> computer summarize for me. So I paste her explanation into ChatGPT to help you understand. It says with ordinary orders, when you finish one, you immediately get your money back to take on the next order. But with combined orders, you have to finish all the orders in the package before you can get your money back and move on to the next order. 
Because your money is tied up in the combined order until you finish all the orders in that package, your training account might show a negative balance. Okay, that's better, but let's have it explain it to me like I'm five. Imagine playing with toys. With normal orders, you get your money back as soon as you finish playing with one toy. But with combined orders, you have to finish playing with all the toys in the big box before you get your money back. This might make your toy account look like you owe some money until you're done playing with everything in the box. That's much better. So Yelp Girl goes on to say that I need to contact customer service and deposit funds so that I can continue. And the way that I do this is by clicking on one of these faces which just opens up another WhatsApp window. So I tell this person that I need to deposit funds into my account and then they give me a cryptocurrency wallet address. Man. Man, <laughs> it always ends up with crypto whenever it comes to these scams. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> Get the crypto wall, bro. It's not a scam for sure. Yeah. I take this message over to Yelp Girl and she says she'll pay for it. Then she okay. sent me the screenshot like she actually paid the $1,000 to reset the order. Thank you. So then I send the screenshot to the customer service guy uh -huh. and he responds with, okay, be patient. Your deposit is being verified. Okay. Your deposit was successful. All deposits and earnings can be withdrawn after all tasks are completed. Bro, this is the most long game scam I've ever seen in my life. Like what actual normal human would go through all of this? They, this there's so much back and forward. Okay, so now that the balance has been met, I can continue on with the rest of my tasks. <laughs> like this so guy I knows this guy, and my full commission is $250. Or at wow. least that's her commission, because this was all done on her account. But she's nice enough to give me 20% for doing all the work. She says, congratulations, this is the commission what you get work? for making restaurant optimization orders for my account. He didn't go anywhere and eat. What work? What, the, what did he do? He's just been clicking stuff. <laughs> what work? Yes, all that hard work of clicking a button 30 times. Wow. So then she sets up my account, and I guess all new Imagine accounts get money was that easy to get. The $50 commission, so my total balance is now $60.13. Okay. But she tells me that I need a minimum of $101 to start working, and I need to add another $40 to my balance. I also need to download an app called MetaMask, which is how I'll receive my salary. and purchase any funds that I need to add to my balance. Buy Ethereum now, for $40. I'm all for wasting scammers time, but I'm not all for wasting my money. So I kind of figure that I'm at a dead end at this point. But then someone else shares with me this text message that they got, and it looks exactly like the other one, only they want me to review for Deliveroo. Okay, here we go again. So I write to them on WhatsApp, and this is another Asian woman named Agnes. Mm. And she gives me the same spiel saying that I'm going to- You know to what is funny? Have y'all received messages on WhatsApp with these Asian women saying that we're... Oh my God, is that you? And they say some random name. I'm about to visit your country. We gotta meet, we gotta meet up. Have y'all ever had those messages? Cause I've had like through the years, like two or three of those. And I'm always so confused that what is this scam gonna lead up to? I get those on Twitch. I get them on WhatsApp. It's so weird. I think so. It's like they're telling me they're going to come and visit and I got to go pick them up. I'm like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> who the hell are you? <laughs> Restaurants optimize their order data and her website looks exactly the same. In fact, it's registered by the same organization in Laos. And of course, I can't even access it without Guardio warning me. This is what I love about Guardio, and I'm thrilled that they're sponsoring this video. It's so easy to get distracted online that you could easily end up on a malicious site and get fished or download malware. This is why you need an extra layer of security like Guardio on your browser. Their technology can recognize- It's great, but like, don't get an extension doing this. Get an actual virus program. Like, come on, get a, get a proper virus program that handles these things. Get ESET or something like you don't, don't let an extension handle it. It will not manage it if anything goes through. Recognize the operations of sites that imitate these big brands that seek to deceive you. You can download the extension from the link below and do a free security scan for existing threats that are already on your browser. It'll let you know if you've got any a malicious security scan on your browser. Information is part of any data. I mean, yeah, sure, but <laughs> breaches. You can also download their mobile app to get notified even faster. Yeah, I'm not gonna judge this. This is a little silly. Texts. 
Come to think of it, the people who got the original text messages for this scam likely never would have if they had Guardio installed. Bruce. You should try it out today at Guardio. A lot of people give their, per like, uh, their information to... The problem is that this is not something that even a virus program can prevent you from. Because, like, whenever you go and shop, like, let's say you need now shoes, right? And you want to order those shoes online. Well that website is most likely gonna ask for your phone number Ooh, hoo, hoo. now you gave them your phone number you know what that website is gonna do or might happen either the website information get hacked or you know they might sell that information why would they sell that information because it's free money and then they sell that information and the ones that get that information end up using that to send you all of these scam messages and call center blah 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 that's what happens that's how people get you most of the time so even if you did have a virus program preventing you from talking in a random website or giving information on a random website a lot of facebook and everything still just gives your personal information regardless io slash pleasant green and you can get a seven day free trial to enable real-time protection plus you can add four additional family members at no extra mm -hmm. cost there are one million people using guardio today and you can join them by going to guard.io slash pleasant green and check Guardies. out their affordable premium plan for full protection well agnes gives me the login to her training account and she guides me to do the exact same thing that yelp girl wanted me to do which is complete these stupid tasks but remember, around task 18, I'm going to hit a combined order where I have to pay the balance to continue. But I don't waste time doing any of these True. tasks, so instead I just say, okay, I'm done. And of course, Agnes is confused because- Smart, just tell them you're done and you haven't done anything. I'm supposed to show her that I'm stuck and I need her to pay the balance. But I show her a screenshot from the other site showing that all 30 tasks have been completed. So she's all flustered and says that she needs to log in and check it out herself. And that's where she can see that I'm lying and I actually haven't completed it. Wait, any what? It's not a robot? Asks. She said, if you don't want this job, you can just say so. This is your dishonest performance. And that's when I say, have you ever heard of pig butchering? And she does not respond. And if you're new here, pig butchering is when a scammer befriends someone and introduces them to crypto. It's a growing scam online. When I remember some dude called me once and asked me about if you uh, want to talk me me about bitcoin and i told him i know about bitcoin i have sold my bitcoins i don't give a shit anymore i don't care and he's like why and i'm like I, I don't have time for this man and he's like why and he gets like really mad because i don't want to talk about bitcoin with him like oh my god it's pig butchering the victim slowly starts to invest money over time oh yeah that they're earning sucks. big returns and just when they're about to cash out the scammer ghosts them and runs off with everything. And the creepiest part about this is that the scammers doing this are often victims themselves who have been human trafficked in Southeast Asia. And I have no idea if Agnes is one of them, but she did not deny it. So I go back to Yelp Girl and I decide that I'm going to get to know her. She says her name is May and I ask where she lives. She says Los Angeles and she even goes on to tell me her story about how she found this job. She was in the beauty industry with her husband, but the business went bankrupt during the pandemic and they divorced. What? She said that was the darkest time in my life. I even thought about giving up my life until I saw my cousin at a family party. He was doing this job. I started trying to do this job. In the beginning, I did 100 jobs like you, but after a month, I realized my cousin was doing this job. He was doing this job. He was doing this job. I realized my cousin was doing this job. Is she having a stroke or is she just copying and pasting too many Copy times? Copying and pasting. Most pig butcher scammers don't even speak English and they're just relying on Google Translate. <laughs> but she goes on to say how this job has turned her life around. She says, when I look at any item, I don't consider its price, but buy it if I like it. As long as I have enough money, what a great I can do man. anything I like. Damn. Here she is shopping for stuffed cats of all wow. things. So I cut right to the chase and I say, have you ever heard of pig butchering before? And she says, no. I say it means you are being forced to trick people into investing into cryptocurrency. Are you being forced to scam other people? And she says this is not established. If this is a scam, how can there be such a stupid liar? I said, who's the stupid liar? You. Oh. I say, if you were in Los Angeles, then prove it. Take a selfie of you giving me a thumbs up. And then she sends me a picture of her thumb and another finger. <laughs> and I thought, what in the world is this? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is the funniest fucking scam I've ever seen. What is this she got? <laughs> oh, 
really her? So me deciding to get to the bottom of this, I decide to play her little game. So I buy $40 worth of Ethereum and this resets my account and it lets me finish the 30 tasks. And I make a commission of $68.85 and then May tells me to withdraw the cash. And you're not gonna believe this, but it actually worked and I end up with $100 in my MetaMask wallet. I know where this is going. Like I could seriously walk away right now having made money. But May tells me to do 30 more tasks and I'll make another commission. But to do this, I need to reset the account again by putting in $101. And it worked before, so I might as well do it again. So I send the $101 in my wallet to the strange Ethereum. Y'all, do y'all know what's gonna happen now? Cause like, it's like, you know, in mobile games, you know, have you ever seen a mobile game or been in a cash shop in a video game before? It says bonus. Bonus, bonus, bonus. Look at this. Look at that. You know why? Because like often they want to grab you first. If you spend the money once, you might now start and believing it, you start getting something out of it. You might want to start investing more. So what's going to happen now is that he's they are taking that extra money at a cost because they usually get revenue back. Now he can believe that they, he will actually earn money on it. So if he puts more money into it, he will get more back. But in reality, that's not what's gonna happen. Address, and then I start reviewing 30 more restaurants. This time I actually make a commission of $114, which I withdraw to my MetaMask wallet. I'm seriously making money. So I decide to keep going because apparently if I hit my daily and weekly goals, I'll get my big salary payment. Wow. So I reinvest $100 to reset the account and start reviewing more restaurants. But right around number 18, I get another one of those darn combination orders, which oh. means I need to invest another $58.66 of my own money to continue. And of course. that's when I realized how they get you. People are just gonna dump more and more money into this because they think it's gonna come back to them tenfold. And I realized that this has just happened to me when I look up the Ethereum address on Blockchain Explorer and I can see literally hundreds of payments going in. Most of them around $100, but some of them for much, much more. There are a lot of piggies headed to the slaughter, and it's no wonder law enforcement is calling these pig butchering scams one of the most destructive ones out they there. They are AOE farming like crazy. Right now. So I think. And I'm that's the thing about people don't really think about. Like, you can actually look in an ad address, like a crypto address, and you can see how much money goes in and out. I gotta find out who this girl is. So I spent a lot of time on a lot of different sites searching for her and I can see that her face is being used on dozens of different dating profiles all around the world. I find one image that looks like it's a painting of her. Wow. I can see that it was done by an artist in the Netherlands who wrote the name Susan at the is bottom. Is she AI? So I end up getting in touch with fake? the artist who only speaks Dutch. But by using Google Translate, I ask if he painted it. And he says, yes, that's right. It's been a while. Do you know Susan? And then he shows me the real Susan that he based this painting off of. I told him that that same woman went by the name May and was trying to get me to buy cryptocurrency. And then he basically said the same thing happened to him. She befriended him and got him to draw her and then she shifted to crypto investing. Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. He then went on to say that he discovered that there may even be an entire organization wanting to seduce people with beautiful seductive photos of mostly women. Just as I suspected. So I call out May and I ask why her pictures are on a Russian dating site under the name Amber. But this link is a special <laughs> redirect link. That I want a thing to send someone. What a thing to tell a woman. Why are you on a direction dating side named that? <laughs> that will grab her IP address when she clicks on it. And from that, I can see that she's not in Los Angeles. Smart. She's in Hong Kong. Oh, well, I mean, Hong Kong, Los Angeles. What's the difference? I said, I think you stole that girl's pictures. And she said, this is my picture, okay? And I said, can you prove it? She said, that's me, I don't need proof. I don't want to talk to you about boring questions. But I was firm, I said, you are in Hong Kong. Is somebody forcing you to do this? She said, I don't have time to talk to you about boring questions. And then she sends this. You'll be locked up in a dark room now. My bodyguard is on his way to your house. You'll be locked up in a dark room now. You, my bodyguard is on his way to your house. What? What is this? What the f what happened? What is going on? <laughs> Bro, I swear you could make a game out of this story. This is so stupid. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, who's this guy? <laughs> oh 
I'm losing it. What the fuck is this, dude? America, baby. Who in the world is that? And why is he going to shoot me through a phone? He's coming for you. <laughs> He'll get you. He's gonna get you. <laughs> she said, you have too many questions. Oh, okay. This doesn't seem like normal behavior from this sweet young woman. Yeah, I and guess And neither not. is what she said next. I am your father. I'm your, I am father? your father? I am your father. I am your Oh, okay. Maybe <laughs> uh, this thing is turning to something completely different. Your father. I said, I thought you were a woman. <laughs> Once again... I am your father. I am your father. <laughs> and that was the last I heard from her. Or him. I couldn't get them to open oh, up beyond that. Bad, I don't this know. game sounds so goofy, but I've heard horror stories from inside these pig butchering scams that absolutely haunt me. I think this is probably one of the creepiest and cruelest scams out there, and the data is clear that a lot of people are being really hurt by it. I was lucky to catch on when I did. I'm gonna drop some links in the description to other videos about pig butchering that I think you ought to check out. But thanks for watching this one. And if someone wants you to review their restaurant, you better make sure they feed you first. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, that, that's what I think. I mean, like, that, that's like, I told you about the guy calling me about Bitcoins, right? I think that the reason the guy got mad is because he's not doing well, right? These people that are doing these scams, they are not having a good life. They are having a rough time. They barely have enough money to go by and they're probably not treated well. So whenever they can't scam anyone, they don't really have much to go from. Or is that an excuse? Not really, no. But it's just the fact that knowing that they also go through a lot. It's just, I, I think that, I do want to say that I think that this whole video was funny as hell. I thought this was so funny. I've never seen this channel before, but this was one of the, this was the funniest scam I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God. The ones really making money are their bosses. Yeah, it's a pyramid. It's sort of like a pyramid scheme. It's the one above them that are taking it, taking them for advantage. Like they're just using them. They are the one making money. Criminals often have bad life. Yeah, I mean, it's just boss is living good. He's living well. I bet he's getting a good ass sick every day, man. The one really making money are their bosses. The people forcing them to scam other being probably fair for their own life. Yeah, most likely. Hey, King, I got locked out of my bank bank account. Yeah, can I get some money? I need to get... I'll give it back next week, I promise. Like selling furniture in an old browser game. Listen, if you get scammed by an eight-year-old, you deserve to be scammed, all right? Anyways. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah, this is a good-ass video. Yo, King, King. Yeah, yeah, yeah.